In this video tutorial, we're going to talk about standardizing the PQI-380 non-nuclear asphalt density gauge and the SDG-200 non-nuclear soil density gauge. Standardization is nothing more than an onboard diagnostics check of the electronic components, making sure they are working properly. Let's get started. First, we'll go over the standardization process for the PQI-380. Before we start, Let's go over a few guidelines to ensure proper standardization. Number one, the gauge must be tested in the case that it was shipped with. Number two, make sure that the gauge serial number on the handle matches the serial number in the case on the standardization plate right there. Number three, the gauge must be placed in the case facing the correct direction. And you also want to make sure that the gauge is sitting flat on the, the little nubs that are on the standardization plate. And finally, you just want to make sure that the case is sitting flat on the ground. Now we can proceed to standardize. Let's navigate to the standardization screen. From the main menu, press Start PQI 380. From the control menu, press Standardize. Standardization on the PQI 380 is performed on both the inner and outer rings. Let's start with the inner ring. Press the start button. If your standardization is within the acceptable ranges shown, you will receive a pass message. Results outside the acceptable range will receive a fail message. If the inner ring test fails, make note of the failing results and call TransTech Systems. If you receive the pass, we will move on to the outer ring. Press the inner ring button to switch over to the outer ring, then press start. You should receive a pass message, meaning your PQI-380 is ready for another day out on the job. Once again, if the outer ring test fails, make note of the failing results and call TransTech Systems. That concludes the standardization of the PQI-380 non-nuclear asphalt density gauge. Now let's move on to the SDG-200. Before we start, let's go over a few guidelines to ensure proper standardization of the SDG-200. 1. The SDG-200 must be standardized in the case that it was shipped with. 2. Make sure that the serial number on the handle of the SDG-200 matches the serial number on the standardization plate inside the case. Right there. Three, the SDG-200 must be placed in the correct direction inside the case when performing a standardization. Four, make sure that the SDG is sitting flat on the standardization plate. Unlike the PQI-380, the SDG-200 does not have the little rubber nubs on the plate. And finally, make sure that the case is sitting flat on the ground. Now we can proceed to standardize the SDG-200. Let's navigate to the standardization screen. From the main menu, press Start SDG-200. From the control menu, press Standardize. Once you're in the standardization screen, press the Start button. This process will take a couple minutes.
If your standardization was within the acceptable range as shown, you'll receive a pass message, meaning your SDG is ready for another day out on the job. If you receive a fail message, make note of the failing results and call TransTech Systems. That concludes the standardization of the PQI-380 non-nuclear asphalt density gauge and the SDG-200 non-nuclear soil density gauge.